Hello, my name is Kasia Szczepaniak and on behalf of Academia Znajomych, Friends Academy, which is a Warsaw-based initiative, I'm uh, inviting you to join us uh, to meet uh, another woman from our series, uh, Polish New Woman at the Edges of the World, which is introducing um, or trying to restore the memory of females, uh, very important females in our history that are little known or forgotten very often. Our heroine today is Olga Drachonowska Małkowska, who was uh, a founder of the Polish uh, scouting movement in Poland, especially the female scouting movement. A woman of many qualities, uh, just to quote, uh, is an, she was an inspiring leader, captain of many, highly gifted, intuitive, self-disciplined, independent, critical thinker as well. Um, she uh, she was uh, she was born in 1888 uh, to Czech family. However, she was born in Polish in the very difficult to pronounce uh, town uh, Krzeszowice. Uh, still, uh, she always felt Polish, and she was active all her life, uh, starting from childhood and uh, universe study uh, study times. Uh, when she joined um, different associations. In this picture, you can see, uh, you can see her uh, in 1932, when she helped to organize uh, the World Conference of the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts in Poland. This was a major event uh, where actually, the, the membership badge uh, was developed. So this became a historical place in this way as well. Olga Trachonowska Małkowska was um, a very active member uh, of international uh, movement, scouting movement, and she founded uh, the, first, um, the first girl guide uh, movement in Poland, the first it was 1911 uh, in Lwów, where she studied. Uh, it was also there where she met uh, her first friend and then uh, husband, Andrzej Małkowski, uh, who actually sparked the interest uh, in her uh, in terms of, of scouting. Uh, Andrzej Małkowski, as we can read in this um, old Polish um, postcard, he was um, not only the one of the founders of scouting in Poland, but also the author of the first um, scouting book. He was also the editor of the Scout magazine. Olga and Andrzej got married in 1913. Um, a year later, they had to flee. Uh, from Poland uh, through Switzerland to the United States. And uh, there they were also, uh, especially Andrzej was very active in promoting, uh, in, in, the, in, this, in, in acting, uh, in, in scouting movement, uh, organizing uh, teams uh, there. He was also uh, engaged in the, in the fights uh, he was a member of the Canadian Army, and then uh, he he actually died in 1919 uh, during his mission, his military mission, when he was already fighting for the Polish Army, uh, Independent Army, uh, with uh, General Haller. When it comes to Olga, she. Uh, at that time, uh, when Andrzej um, is uh, Andrzej is dead, uh, he, she's already back in Europe. Um, she and her son, their, their son was born in 1915, and in 19, uh, 19 um, um, Olga uh, moves from France to to UK to to England to. And, uh, and she starts um, acting there. However, 
in, um, due to the Spanish flu, her activities are really reduced, uh, limited. And in 1921, she decides to go back to Poland. She comes to Zakopane, where she, uh, where she starts working as a teacher. However, uh, she wants more. And in 1924, uh, she starts opening uh, the school. You can see the picture. Uh, it was uh, called in Polish, Cisowy Dworek, uh, New Manor. Uh, on the left, as it was, uh, as it looked uh, under construction and how it looks today, because the, the place actually still exists. This is a place with a very rich history. It was, um, uh, as founded by Olga, it was a school, uh, an alternative, a very modern uh, school uh, based on Montessori, uh, Maria's Montessori approach, uh, where the children were uh, learning how to be independent, how to take care of themselves, but also of others. The school, uh, the children were uh, helping the local community, they were running their own garden, um, they were really um, active participants of the of the of the local of the social life. Uh, the website is, uh, as I said, um, active. Uh, the place is living. Uh, you can uh, check that. You can you can visit the place. And uh, and here this is in Polish, but this is a testimony of one of the pupils who really appreciated uh, the time spent there uh, that, uh, and the skills uh, he learned, Professor Andrzej Mrozewski. Uh, and he uh, also mentions here that <clears throat> all the skills and the values um, on the learning he got turned uh, to be helpful uh, during the occupation times, uh, during the war. This huge enterprise uh, was possible thanks to the support of Violet Mason, the British aristocrat, who was uh, a friend of Olga Małkowska and who got really engaged into the activities here in Poland. She was, uh, she was helping, helping as much as she could. Uh, although uh, Olga Małkowska herself was also earning money by, for the school by lecturing wrote. Uh, the picture with Violet Mason as well as this one was taken um, again in 1932 in Bucha in Poland where the, the above mentioned conference was held. As you can see there are representatives of 32 countries here. Uh, and, uh, and this shows how the how the how strong the movement was and how a great achievement it was uh, on part of Paukowska and, uh, and other Polish uh, scouts, girl guides to organize such an event. Um, there is also the, the press office um, from that conference here. And, uh, and here we can see Olga Małkowska in her element with uh, the girl guides, with uh, also with her, with her collaborator, Valentina Krzemiska, uh, standing first on the left. And, uh, and we really need to remember um, Olga as, as the person who, who was taking care of others was supporting uh, the growth, development of children, of young people, especially girls here. Uh, but she was also active uh, later on during the war, uh, Second World War. She, uh, she took her pupils uh, to, uh, to UK and she operated there. She was helping to run um, places like orphanages for um, in Scotland, uh, in England. And after the war, she opened uh, her own places for Polish uh, refugees, for Polish orphans. Uh, one of them was uh, run by her from 1948 to 1960 in, uh, in Devon, uh, in Devonshire. So, uh, so her contributions are immense. And, uh, 
And she, but in 1961, she decided to come uh, back to Poland, uh, where she died in 1979. So, uh, they are, uh, they have, uh, she and her husband have a grave in Zakopane, the place where they spend a lot of time uh, supporting the city and the inhabitants in many ways, taking care of uh, children, the edu education. The, the couple uh, is uh, mentioned in many books. So luckily there are resources that can be found. Uh, some of the resources are also in English. Uh, here we have the um, Encyclopedia of Women Social Reformers, and my quote at the beginning came from, uh, from here. Um, uh, you can read more. This is available in uh, it's a Google book, and, and this, this uh, chapter devoted to Malkowska is, uh, is there to be, to be read. And, uh, Admired. She was recognized also formally, uh, both for the Polish by the Polish government and by the um, British uh, people. Uh, in fact, uh, she was um, she was awarded uh, the Bronze um, Cross by the uh, Queen Elizabeth as well. More sources are available here. I highly recommend. I know that some of them are in Polish, but still. Um, perhaps you can uh, you can find your Polish friends or his uh, translators to help you and explore more. Um, I also hope that you will find other episodes from our series interesting. Uh, there are um, nine other women, Polish women uh, from the interwar period, especially, who were active. Uh, whose achievements are great and uh, who are active also, uh, who are acting uh, abroad, not only in Poland. Thank you and see you in other episodes. Bye.